Let's unpack right now. What is the correct model for disciple making from God's word? And let me begin unpacking this from Ephesians 4, verse 11. 411 says this, and Christ gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and teachers to equip the saints for the work of the ministry, for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Now, this passage clearly tells us the intent of the five four ministries of apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Their role, their ministries, are to equip God's people for the work of the ministry, to build up the body, and to help believers become stable and mature in Christ. Very clearly written in this passage here. And when that happens, what is the result? The body of Christ will be strong and united against all wrong teaching and deceitful schemes. So God calls the full-time pastoral staff to function in the fivefold ministries to equip God's people and to build up the body. Now, does that mean that someone who is not a full-time staff cannot function then in the fivefold ministries? The answer is no. Everyone can function in the fivefold ministries if God calls one to operate in them. And that's why in Grace, in our church, we have bivocational ministers recognized by the body here to function in these fivefold ministries. We call them bivocational ministers because they are not full time paid staff but are serving the Lord as pastoral staff while working in the marketplace. And my prayer is to see many more, many, many more bivocational ministers raised in our church. Can somebody say amen? 